What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Well, in today's video, I want to give you a quick update on what's happening with Brett because things are starting to heat up and you need to pay close attention to it. And so with that said, let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video. Now, about a month ago here on the channel, I told you all that I was going to be, be you know, starting my dollar cost average on Brett and because, you know, although it was still around that billion dollar market cap, I thought that this macro pullback we were in was a good dollar cost average opportunity because based off of all the actions and the movements that I've been seeing take Taken by Brett, I think that they are still going to be able to maintain being one of, if not, you know, the top five, top 10 biggest meme coins in the world, especially if we do get a bull run, even remotely similar to 2021. Now, I also told you that where we are at this given point is a very, very good point, right? We've seen this correction. We've started to see this pullback. And I told you if at any given pre point that Brett's price starts to pull back towards the 618 to 786 macro Fibonacci zone, that I was going to start dollar cost averaging because historically, this is a zone in which any major crypto, 100 millions up to 10, 20, up to 50 to 80 billion dollars will try to find support and will try to find a breakout off of. It's just what happens. And what we can see here is that as Brett's price did start to venture towards the bottom side of this descending wedge, we actually got an extension and a fake out to the downside of this wedge with a break back into the wedge following that. This is an extremely, extremely bullish move. And it says that the bears are not strong enough to force us not only just out of this wedge, but below the 618 to 786 Fibonacci zone. And so because of that, I do think that now we're looking at a spot in which although Brett's price can continue downwards a little bit throughout the bottom of this channel, I do think it's going to give itself another run back up towards the upside of this channel at some given point. And that's what I'm trying to capitalize on. I mean, the thing has already rallied freaking 33% off the bottom side of this move. I can see easily another, you know, say hypothetically we get back down here. I can see another 40 to 35, 50% move towards the upside happening quite simply and quite easily to try to get a breakout of this descending channel. Now, the vast majority of why of course Brett's price has been recovering is not only has it just quite simply established itself as one of the most dominant major players within the space especially being the fact that it's the leading meme coin on base chain which is growing in popularity every single day but they've also just been coming out with a lot of news and so of course what I wanted to do is just go over some of the news that they've done and kind of come out with and just show you reason why I am still extremely high in conviction in terms of purchasing Brett even at some of these lower levels no problem now one of the biggest things that I will say about Brett that they do better than most is the fact that they understand who some of the biggest people in the world outside of crypto are and they know how to tap into them to be able to bring over their communities into the crypto community right we've seen it multiple times right they have Gilbert Durinho Burns if you guys aren't fans of MMA he's one of the most popular UFC fighters in the world and they've been featured in many of his videos they have a partnership with him he shouts them out it's just stuff like that is massive and it's extremely important now on top of that we've also seen them being featured in these different streamathons and marathons and with kick streamers and twitch streamers and feel about them how you want like them or don't like them they have a ton of influence and as we do see this market venture into what hopefully will be an altcoin season maybe towards the end of this year maybe sometimes next year the new retail investors are going to come from people like this people who watch streams people who watch mma vlogs who watch these things just like we saw back in 2021 now they're not only investing into the world of web 2 they're also still in the world of web 3 as well we saw quite recently that alpha token cap announced a seven figure strategic investment in partnership with base bread to grow the bread ecosystem system in regional markets and strengthen their ecosystem further on. So they are still investing time, energy, effort, and funds back into the ecosystem, back into Brett as a whole, while also being able to keep their eyes on what's happening outside of their ecosystem as well. Some of the other things in which they're doing are working with people who are not even particularly like athletes or streamers, but quite simply, you know, or MMA fighters and streamers, but other athletes, other sports, other things that get eyes, because again, they are aware if they can get in front of as many different types of eyes, as much diversity as they possibly can, when retail does come to crypto, Brett is going to be one of their first choices. And so some of those things that they're doing are, of course, they partnered up with Watold Ramasukas, Ramaskas, we're just going to go for that one, okay? In which they say Brett is supporting the Brazilian racing sports by partnering with top driver of the NASCAR Brazil for this year and current champion on the Interlagos track. Good luck world. Boom. Partnership there. On top of that, they've been doing some work out in third world countries, out in villages, putting in a well, spreading the love. They did it here with the Oleo village. They also did it here, as you can see, let's get this pulled up, with the Labode village. And that, of course, is making a difference as well. And then lastly, a major piece of news that we saw in which they were um, featured out in Korea, in which there's three lips in this residence hotel, in which we can see these little advertisements for Brett playing. They are getting their eyes, or they are getting themselves in front of as many eyes as they possibly can 
can and they are doing it better than pretty much any other meme coin out there i mean this is similar to what we really started to see happen with doge and with shiba inu and even safe moon back in the day right but they're actually legit in comparison to safe moon right more like doge more like shiba inu this is what happened and this is the reason why you can go talk to a random person on the street about crypto and ask them if they've ever heard about doge or shiba inu and they probably have it's what separates brett from something like pepe it's what separates it from some of these more modern new day meme coins and it's the reason why when you compare that and you kind of take that and add in the fact that they're on base chain which is going to be one of the leading blockchains in the world simple as that there's no questions asked coinbase already being as big as it is supporting it creating it directly it's going to just be what happens. It's a magical, it's a magical combination. And that's why I'm still so bullish. And so when you combine this with the fact that it's moving so maturely in terms of price price action and using these Fibonacci's and finding support and overextending and recapturing, I mean, these are things that cryptos this size don't typically do. And the fact that Brett's doing it gives me even more conviction. And so I wanted to just share with you the reasons as to why I was still accumulating, adding, building up this bag, and the bag is looking pretty damn good so far. And so with that said, guys, I wonder if you guys are buying some Brett down below. So let me know down below are you buying some bread is that something that you're accumulating have you got enough do you not have enough let me know down there and let me know your thoughts for the future do you think this is a top three top five meme coin in the world do you think we can get there i'm very curious so of course let me know down there and of course i can't wait to see you all in the next bread video peace out everybody